Okay, we're back in Louisiana. We're playing Mr. Keys Files, 13th Skull. Looks like we got more chores to do. And I thought I had to do chores with Nancy Drew, and apparently I have to do it in this game as well. And I'm totally going to catch that cat. Totally. You know, that's an interesting pillow there. I'm assuming you don't actually sleep on that pillow. Oh, it's going to be strange with a pillow. Okay, so we have to uh, wash some windows, apparently. So let's go see if we can find any dirty windows. We have also some bumblebees out there. We'll have to deal with that at some point. Uh, closet we already looked through. And we found the insignia there. I think I found two so far. I hope you have something better to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm working on it. Uh, where is the dirty window? Here's one here. Oh, I actually have to wipe it. Yay, look at me wipe. Interesting. Diamond shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Where's the other dirty window? Ooh, he's not just Hang on, I'm not done yet. I think I just do this over here, right? Diamond. So, diamond was number 10. I'll put that over there for now. So, clearly, there's two other dirty windows. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I don't recall any of them. Not over here. I don't think there was any upstairs. Oh, yeah, maybe in the bathroom. How do I get in there, though? Rain-soaked Spanish moss droops from the oak trees outside. We hammer them. Alright, I think that's gonna be a window. <laughs> easy, puppy dog, easy. So where's the second window? Or the third window, I should say. Good question. Alright, right, let's do it then. Let's get into the hidden object scene. We're back here. We were here once already. Uh, hey, sir, I remember from last time. What else do we need? Allen key, yay. Adjustable wrench. This is pretty much what my uh, tool bench looks like. <laughs> okay, I don't have a uh, air filter here. In fact, I don't think I own a car with this style of air filter. That's pretty old school. My first car had an air filter just like that. A 19... Well, let's just say it was an old Mazda. It was my first car. I it was a manual transmission, so you had to have the, the gear shift. So when I was 16, I had to learn how to drive. Plus, I had to learn how to shift gears. So that was a lot of fun. But I went for the driver's education classes, where they drive you around town. Well, I guess you drive the, the instructor, instructor around town. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, electrical tape. No, I thought that was electrical tape. Hmm. Soldering iron and gloves. There's gloves. Wow, crickety. Crickety noise is crickety. Chisel in a bolt. C clamp. How is that not electrical tape? Come on, game. I, what is that then? Duct tape? Yeah, yeah, that's electrical tape. Radio again. Here plugs. Chisel. Alright, where is the termite? That is not a termite. That is a well blended termite. Alright, we have a screwdriver. That is going to be super handy. Still need to figure out how we're going to do that. Here, what's this key? Music room key. Ah! Okay. We should probably go to the music room then. Uh... This one, maybe. Yeah. Go inside. Ooh, dirty windows are dirty. Okay, so how many diamonds do we have? Four, seven, nine, eleven. 
15 diamonds. I mean, 15 triangles. Alright, so now we just need squares. Looks like we have something here. Uh, we have a screwdriver. We totally have a screwdriver. Oh yeah, wow. Huh. Fun. Uh... I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Oh. It didn't give me instructions for what I'm supposed to do here. Um. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Am I actually supposed to arrange it? Alright, I'll come back to that once I figure out what I'm supposed to do there. Ooh, what's this all about? Numbers! Move to the den. Ooh, a nice computer. Wow, check out that computer. Ah, uh, oh, okay, so I think somebody shared this with me on Facebook. From what I recall, this is actually part of the bonus chapter, I think. I'll have to look on Facebook. Uh, they posted uh, some help there. For that. I think that's what it was. Dusty old fax machine. So where is the other door then? I look at all these uh, mouse traps everywhere. Huh. I'm not sure where the. Uh, how am I supposed to get to those shutters? Oh, maybe I gotta oil them. Let's go upstairs and oil them. Go, water. Will we oil them? There we go. Yay! We did it! So we have six, it looks like. No, eight. Eight squares. Turn to Mary Lee and ask about the oddities in the So what is... Oh yeah, we're adding these little tabs. See these little tabs over here? That's gonna be... Yeah, let's look here. Yeah, we figured that out. There's key. I love the sound of the paper turning. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. Let's think that's this way. Ah, oh, see, I did that. That's twice, and then the last video as well. Do you see what I'm saying about the oddities in this house? My husband Lewis and I have found strange things all over the place. That clock and that piano are perfect examples of what I'm talking about. And I'm not sure that I believe a pirate hid his treasure in this house. But then again, my beliefs are not necessarily those of other folk. If you know what I'm saying. You can rub your knuckles raw and knock on, on that door, but she ain't gonna let you in. She's really been spooked. If you want to get inside, I suggest you find a spare key. I think Mrs. Lawson mentioned that there was one hidden in the upstairs hallway. Interesting. I don't see how my beliefs are of any consequence to your investigation, Detective. I told you that spirits are not to be trifled with. We are surrounded by many energies. Some are good, and some are she very bad. She has such bad. creepy eyes. Like, I, <laughs> I can't help but stare at her. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we need to get into Magnolia's room. Oil it up. Yeah, get in there, oil that up. I found a spare key. Oh, wait. Oh, check that out. Oh, I thought it was uh, gonna click on the chalice there. Alright, Magnolia, I'm coming in. Like it or not. Hello, little girl. Let's talk. Hi, I'm Magnolia. My mom said you're here to help us find Daddy. 
Aha, she's got crayons. I don't normally hide in my room, but I really don't like this place. I wish we never moved here. I miss my old house and my friends, and now Daddy's been taken away by a ghost. Mom says we can leave as soon as we find Daddy. Aw, oh, she's adorable. The night Daddy disappeared, he was in my room reading me a story about a pirate. That's when we heard sounds outside my bedroom door. It sounded like heavy boots climbing the staircase. And then we heard screams. I don't think it wanted us to see the stuff we found in the attic. Uh, let's hear about the attic. We found an old jewelry box in the attic. It's really pretty, but we don't know how to open it. I guess I could let you see it, but I need you to do something for me first. Of course you do. I'm missing some crayons, and I'm too scared <laughs> to leave my room. If you can get them and put them in my wooden case by the window, I'll let you see the jewelry box. I'm on a hunt for crayons. All right. I like the sounds of that already. Okay, where are your crayons? Okay. So I know I saw a bunch of crayons. Uh, let's go crayon hunting. Uh, see, I did that again. Wow. Crayon over here. Oh, no crayon. Just a kitty cat. Crayons are definitely downstairs. Well, maybe there wasn't one in here. Someone over here? Here, crown, crown. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Ah, there we go. This red one. Oh, no, you're adorable. We're gonna have to get these mouse traps, guaranteed. <laughs> Mom? There's one in here, I'm pretty sure. Aha. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what? Can I use scissors on here? I bet you can. Okay, what do we have in here? It's pretty gross. What the heck was the... Oh, there it is. Green crayon. Like, what was the point of that? Uh, screwdriver down there. Nope. Is there a crayon in here? Pretty sure there was one out here in this one. Aha! Uh -huh. was there one in here? Yep. Okay, so we just need to find the orange one. Uh, in here maybe somewhere? It's a Susan! Is that what they call this thing that spins around like that? Alright, we got crayons, so we're gonna rush back upstairs and give Magnolia her crayons back. Now, uh, no, so that's the one with the broken handle on it. Magnolia to the left. Oh, we got that too. Wow. Well, let's give her a crown spot first. A lot of things we gotta do. Oh, I love the looks of these crayons. They're all brand new too. Fresh out of the box. We did it. There you go, Magnolia. Thanks for bringing me the rest of my crayons. I hid the jewelry box that Daddy found behind the doll on the fireplace. Please be careful, though. I don't want the ghost to come back if you get it open. I think that's fair. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a spinny puzzle. My goodness. So much fun with spinny puzzles. Yikes. Is this gonna take me a while? I don't know. Looks like that one's not gonna work. Hmm. 
My goodness, this is crazy. Well, this was a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed that super fast speed solve. That must have take, taken me, I don't know, five or ten minutes, or... It took me a while, and I realized that I was screwing up. I was focusing on trying to solve it over here, and I should have actually been trying to solve it over on the left side. But anyways, uh, this should do it. And there we have it. Uh, oh, look, the puncher in our home built a new. So we have a new key to the star symbol of some sort. And uh, we're going to take a break because I'm exhausted and I need one. I need something to drink and a little dry throat, if you know what I mean. But we got more games, so stick around. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.